Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. So I just got a box delivered to my door and it's in pretty sad shape. But if what's inside is what I think it is, it would be pretty interesting to open it up together. Let's take a closer look. I'm not gonna lie, this box has seen better days. FedEx, I appreciate that. What do you think it is, Briggle? All right, let's open it up, see what we got. Right, Briggle? Oh yes, it's the Ibanez Ken Susi signature. I mean, the Ibanez Axion label RG Something something A-L-E-T, I need to check my notes. Still, Evertune Fishman Fluence pickups, yes. Glow in the Dark Axion label logo, yes. Kind of interesting, they decided to go with black instead of like brush chrome. But still, I dig it. What else we got? We got the Sub-Zero treated frets. You know what? These might actually be the Jessica Gold ones. I'm not really sure if they make a tone difference, especially on like a metal guitar like this one, where we'll be running this through a sh load of gain, but still, up close it looks sweet. Goto tuners as you do on the more expensive Ibanezes. Made in Indonesia, if you were wondering. Oh, this five piece neck though. That dark color, it looks so good. Satin open pore finish feels great. Speaking of satin, this satin sparkle. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Very pretty cool. All right, first let's do a quick chug test cause I'm pretty curious. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? I haven't tuned this. This is still in tune. Drop C, I think? Yeah, drop C. <laughs> that is incredible. And the reason it's here in tune is one, the five piece Panga Panga walnut neck Ibanez has put on here probably doesn't hurt when it comes to next ability, but also the freaking Evertune bridge on here. And yeah, massive thanks to both those companies for sponsoring this video and also for getting this guitar over here for us to check out together. Okay, the initial plan was I was gonna talk about how the Evertune is this incredible rocket science piece of technology and probably one of the biggest guitar innovations of the last decade and how it solves all these annoying things with guitar like intonation issues, pitch drift issues, those things are both gone. And I was gonna do the thing I've done when I've had other guitars with Evertunes on the channel, shake it around by the strings, show that it's still in tune. But like, let's be real, FedEx has basically done the Evertune demo for me. This is like the one scenario where FedEx losing a guitar is actually beneficial. This was sent in September and it arrives late January. I know, okay, it takes me a while to make videos. But yeah, just literally got it, unboxed it, plugged it in and it was fine, it was ready to go. And that's why the Evertune is so popular, not only in studios where consistency is very important between takes, but also on tour where you're going to different places with different climates, not having to worry about any tuning stability issues no matter where you are, or even during the set, is very cool. And if you're looking at this thing and thinking the setup is super complicated, it's really not. Each saddle functions completely independently, so when you break a string, it doesn't throw the entire thing out of whack. Literally, all you do is pull the string out, put a new one in, tighten up the tuners, and that's it. No harder than changing a string on a normal string through bridge. And I mean, I've been using Evertune for a while now. This literally is as good as the hype says. It's why the Hello Kitty is one of my most played guitars even though I've got a Les Paul Custom, it is just so reliable. You no, know, usually what puts me off Ibanez are the necks. I don't know, I'm still not huge into the thin D shape and the flat 16 inch fingerboard radius. But I mean, it feels real nice. The satin feels really good. <laughs> <laughs> Drop C for me is like instant godsmack. But like I guess some altar bridge too. Actually, this is a good time to check out the different pickup settings. So that was voice one. Definitely hear that's a lot chunkier. I guess this little switch down here splits it. 
Yeah. Okay, so that's cool. So this was something that I got wrong when I was talking about the Matt Hafey signature models. I was like, you can't split the moderns. That's actually not true. Thanks to everyone making corrections in the comments. You can split the moderns. It's just not something that every company does. Like, usually you'll get the multiple voices, but not the split. It's also something that Fishman doesn't really advertise with the moderns. If they don't include a wiring diagram for splitting the moderns with a mini toggle, that's kind of something that you'll have to figure out for yourself. But yeah, you can do it. And what's great is when you wire it up this way, you can split it in voice one or split it in voice two. <laughs> So that's actually really cool. Ugh, so sloppy. R.I.P. Alexi, that dude could write a riff. Oh, you know what legendary riff was written in Drop C? Uh, it doesn't sound the same without the trash cans. I have to say, I'm having a ton of fun with this guitar. The extra jumbo sized frets are awesome. You don't have to press down as hard to fret a note. Even after being lost and treated to the hospitality of FedEx, the frets seem fine. There's no fret sprout or anything like that. Neck seems perfectly fine. The action is good. Speaking of which, if you're enjoying the action here and you're one of the 54% of people who watch but aren't subscribed, do me a favor, help your boy out to 100K. Had <laughs> to do it. I mean, whether you like the specs or not, the fact that this guitar arrived like this in tune is a testament to Ibanez's quality. I don't like this tiny pickup selector switch though. Like why are the switches on this so small? Just make this normal size. But yeah, I'm actually really surprised how fun this guitar is. <laughs> okay, this guitar is a lot of fun. Two what it sounds like through a full produced demo, run through some isolated sound clips, and then I'll see you back here for some final thoughts.
just a couple of final thoughts. First of all, the fact that this arrived in tune after being lost for a few weeks in winter, and I mean, you saw the state of that box. I believe that's what they call the FedEx Special, and yet still arrived in tune. If that hasn't convinced you that the Evertune works, I do not know what will. Other than that, yeah, I mean, mostly what you'd expect from an Ibanez RGD. So, you know, the thin D-shaped neck, the really flat fingerboard, all the stuff that I'm generally not that into. But that's what's cool about this guitar. It's got what I think is one of the best feature set combos on the market now in Ibanez form. Fisherman Fluence pickups with the multiple voices, the Evertune bridge. I cannot tell you how nice it is to just pick up your guitar and play the riff that's in your head without worrying about whether or not it's gonna be in tune. The point is, what I like about this guitar is now Ibanez fans are invited to the Fluence and Evertune party. And I don't know, the neck on this one feels special. Actually, you know what? I think I felt the same way about the last Axian label as well. Listen, these just have good necks. And yeah, Indonesian made Ibanez guitars get a lot of stick. The first one I tried had the route for the trem misaligned and the entire thing was f But the last few ones I've played have been really good. Bottom line, I really enjoyed this guitar, and when it comes down to it, that's really all that matters, right? I mean, no, 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 not that all that matters is if I enjoyed the guitar. What I'm saying is the most important thing is if the guitar is enjoyable. Just wanted to clarify that. Regardless, if the video is entertaining or helpful, do me a favor and hit the like button. Subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so that we don't miss any new uploads. Social media, merch, and Discord server links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. You've been awesome, and I will see you for the next video.